So let's talk about our next AI tool and it's called Magic Presentation. So we are going to generate a presentation from different text prompts. So right now I'm in a Canva doc. I'm going to open Magic Write and the prompt here is going to be write a slide based presentation on the benefits of using AI to learn. In just a few minutes, Magic Write should be able to give me an outline of the presentation. Here it is. So this can be extremely helpful. But what I'm going to do next is take this a step further. I'm going to use that same text prompt to not only generate the outline of the presentation, but to actually generate the presentation. Here's how you do it. We're going to get out of this Canva doc. I am going to open a presentation and I'm going to choose a blank presentation. Now at the bottom of every Canva design, you will see the magic button right over here. I'm going to select that and I'm going to choose magic design. This time I'm going to copy that same prompt and I'm going to select enter to confirm. Next, you can see a number of different themes which have been automatically generated. I think I like this one the best. If I scroll down, I can get an idea of what my presentation might look like. Now I'm going to choose create my presentation and you can see just in a few seconds, Canva is able to create a detailed presentation about a specific topic. Now, one of the things that you'll probably notice if you were to give like a, a 10 minute presentation about AI for learning, is this detailed enough for that presentation? Probably not. So then what has to happen is you would have to go in and modify this, change the content. If you don't like these photos or if you want to add a custom photo, you can do that by uploading your own photo and changing the background, any of this text, that sort of thing. You would have to go in and modify. And if I generate a presentation using magic design or magic presentation, I do find that a lot of times I have to go in and change some things around, but that's fine because editing a finished version of a shorter presentation is a lot easier than trying to create a presentation from scratch. So this is an excellent way for you or your students to start creating content like presentations. Again, it's not a finished product, but it is the beginning to start thinking about how you want to create that finished product. So again, anything on here you can change. There's all kinds of different templates that you can simply replace if you like one of these designs better. After you're finished, you can select share and you can download it in a number of different ways. And of course, you can always add more slides or change anything here. But the big idea here is that you're kind of using that text prompt to create the start of a presentation that you can hopefully use and communicate some ideas to an audience.